time he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet for a long time, though. The title fight eluded him, not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Pyongyang, North Korea. Introducing the challenger, Mr. Tenacious. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bear my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, and fight. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Good stick. That was a thudding leg kick. Nice combination of strikes there by Short. Got the single collar tie. 
clean with the right hook. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just out of range with the big right hand. Kick there, blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Sneaky head kick. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Soul fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Nice right hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big kick lands. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by George. Right hook to the body. Oh, what a punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Single collar tie. Big left hand there inside. Oh, straight right. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Kick to the body by Short. Big powerful punch man. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It was coming high, and now he's got hurt bad. Oh! Shot blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head of the clinch. Big kick land. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. That right hand landed. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Right, it looks like screen clean to go. All right, so a huge five minutes turned in by him there. Good work with those leg kicks, man. Real good job with the leg kicks. Just really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. He did a great job of finding an opening and taking full advantage of it. So after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Ooh, what a punch. Just missed with the left there. Oh, 
Nice right hand. Blood now trickling down from the eyebrow. That shot cut him. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big leg kick land. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Way to hide that leg kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it stop throwing the strikes. And they separate. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found oh, over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent by being going low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. And now he lands a combination. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Let's go. Get him Get him All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, he's got him in the north-south position here, DC. When you're in this position, however rare it may be, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to lay on. I'm just trying to cut air from going to your body. I'm just trying to make you carry my weight. I don't necessarily want to be here. And I don't know if this guy wants to be here right now. He will use this to try to get to the next position. Don't want to be there for more reasons than one. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there on the bottom. <laughs> what a punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Punch over the top. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Fourth we go. Oh, single collar tie here. It's such a fast leg kick. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. 
but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You have the power to put this guy down to show that nobody's not come down like that before. Now this way, you want to put All right, you ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, defense into offense, shot blocked. Counter hook is good. And he continues to work the body here. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Whiffs on that offering. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Oh, judges had to like that uppercut. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that it's... Oh. 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 on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. That finish down now. That was a joke. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Choice right back to the full mount here. Oh, man. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Visibly limping here. Nice kick. Connects with a right. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. A really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming up. Oh! He's out! Oh! What a performance! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And 
That's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano is calling stop to this contest at four minutes, 19 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen. A huge win for the Korean Superboy here tonight. And this is a kid who is just getting started. A scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division. But we've already